Tracer, one of the hardest DPSs as well. Tracer requires some of the most skill in the game. Tracer! Hardest character in the game. Yo, that there is me with almost zero hours of Tracer experience. You see, I've always been that dreaded tank one trick. And after wanting to slam my desk every single time I was up against this annoying little rodent, I had a hypothesis. What if Tracer is one of the easiest characters in the game? And this entire perception of her being hard is just a fabricated fantasy. So I decided to commence 10 hours of Tracer gameplay to solve this theory. <laughs> Hour one went surprisingly well. My teammates were having fun. Just Reaper. Just Reaper. My ass is just Reaper. <laughs> Overwatch was somehow enjoyable. Gold is burning up. Gold is burning up. Gold is burning up. Moth in the corner. Moth in the corner. Moth. Kill the dogs. Kill them. It's fucking awesome. And my friends were finally fine with one of the challenges I made up. Oh god, at least you're not playing Widowmaker. That was brutal. And consequently, this resulted in me being extremely optimistic for what this challenge was to entail. A hope which soon diminished. In hour two, I started by setting three benchmarks to deliver you the best perception of improvement over these 10 hours. And it started with my pulse pistol's accuracy. How are you supposed to aim this shit while blinking around? Literally impossible. Unlike other heroes, you always have to be moving and jumping around. Not to mention blinking as well, we have to readjust your crosshair within microseconds after a blink. I'm done, this is just stupidly hard. The second standard was my pulse accuracy. This mainly included blink pulse combos. Oh my god. Basically, you're supposed to blink and then pulse at the same time, create some form of animation cancel. But every time I tried this, it would either come up too early or late, and if I did manage to figure it out, I was already too concentrated on that task and would miss the pulse entirely. And finally, I got the best Overwatch player I knew to review my gameplay. Yeah, it is not the greatest, I'm gonna be honest. Um, your positioning and blink management definitely needs some work. And don't leave just yet, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna have the same coach review my gameplay after 10 hours. <laughs> this game is dumb! Nah, that's it bro. This is just pointless. Yeah, this was horrible. Tracer has extremely low health, meaning she can get one shot by everyone. Ash headshot? Yep. No way it can one shot. Damage boosted Hanzo body shot? Yes, sir. How is he just hit all those shots? In fact, out of 36 characters, Tracer can get one shot by 25 of them. And it was almost midnight, meaning my duo sanity was down the drain. You got beef with my character, you got beef with me. You're you gonna die, you're gonna die. <laughs> So, I decided to come back tomorrow with a fresh mind. <laughs> Whilst in hour four, I still didn't perform the greatest. Oh, she actually sits there asleep. I'm dead. Is she fucking travel? I was finally starting to identify my own flaws in my gameplay. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... What? Ugh. Why did I go in? And I came to the realization that something had to change, or else this end montage would just be a bunch of missed pulses. <laughs> So, I decided through the endless void of Overwatch Tracer Guide to help me improve, and what I learned changed how I looked at this rat forever. These players' Tracer gameplay seemed to be methodically thought out, with their decision making flowing from one insane play to another. And like a young kid looking up to their role model, I completed this review. These guys were playing a completely different game. First off, you always want to have at least one blink in case you get in a sticky situation. Also, due to Tracer's squishy nature, recall is your sign to either be aggressive or passive as you can die to so many things. Moreover, whilst aim is important, understanding Tracer's blink is even more vital, as the distance this is, is how you finish off most kills. The old blink punch. And if you want more in-depth explanations, then make sure to check out these channels, who provided the best tips in my opinion. And in hour six, things were starting to look up. Oh, yeah. so, two. Wait, this is so fun. All the principles I had learned, I could finally apply in game, and it was working amazing. No. Oh! Oh my god, a one clip down. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh! Oh, I gotta save the game. What's the boss? And in hour 7, I continued this moment. Ah. 
I was being struck by every player's worst nightmare. Toxicity. No way, man. Bro. No way. Three of you... Three of you died to a sim. Four of you died to a sim. I mean, you're not the worst tracer, but I don't think it's working. I'm too fucking nice. <laughs> what are you talking? Ah. Are you looking at the fucking kill feed? I don't even have to fucking blink. They have a lever. Oh, we have a lever. Fuck. No, we have a lever. <sighs> okay. But if I've learned one thing from these challenges, it's to not give up. I hooked him and I had him like one HP after that shot. Stuck! Dead. Oh no. I'm trying to get them off the pop. Just trying to get them away from them. Arisa's got ulti. Arisa's got ulti. Watch out. Yeah. Kill three. Holy fuck. I think they hate you. They got the three now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> And with that, the challenge had been complete. All that was left to do was see how much I'd improved. I'm not gonna bore you with the stats, but here's what my friend had to say after reviewing my game after 10 hours. Yeah, you've made some insane improvements, but uh, definitely still a long way to go. And is Tracer hard? Yes, absolutely. Make sure to join my Discord as we're hosting a tournament. And if you want to see Unfiltered Special, then subscribe to my second channel.